yeah it's actually a two-step process so yeah So hi you guys, today I'm going to be showing you, it's like this mask that I got in a sample bag from Sephora, uh, it's by Philosophy and it's the Micro Delivery Detoxifying Oxygen Pill and also the Micro Delivery Detoxifying Pill, <laughs> they're both called the same thing, but it's not really a pill, they want you to like wipe it off, you don't peel it off when you're done. Oh snap, did it wrong. So yeah, this is step one and it's the charcoal mask I'm supposed to put this on and then I put on step two on top of it and it's supposed to bubble or some book, something like that. So the mask is meant to detoxify as well as brighten the skin and as far as right now my skin is very much trash so that's why I'm doing this and I want to see what it does because it's just been sitting in my sample bag for so long. So yeah, we're going to get to it. And so with this mask, I'm going to be using my, um, it's my Glam Glow brush that I got with one of my Glam Glow kits. And I'm going to use that to apply this. It makes applying masks so much easier. So yeah. So y'all, this is how my face look. It said try to apply it in a thick layer, but it's kind of hard to get a thick layer when you're using a sample. You can only use how much they give you. And um, next I'm going to put on, it told me to put step two on top of this, so I attempted it and it kind of mixed it together a little bit, so this is just step two, which is the oxygen foam booster. And apparently the oxygen foam booster is supposed to like it says add oxygen back into your face after the detoxification so yeah that is what we're doing and I believe this one actually bubbles up a little bit kinda like that bubble clay mask but I'm not sure oh I wish this was bigger I like trying out samples of masks before I actually go buy them because if you haven't realized facial masks are actually really freaking expensive so might as well try it before you buy it so yeah and this is the mask and after putting on step two it says to keep it on your face for three minutes so after that passes I'm gonna come back and show y'all how my face is looking whether it bubbled up or not and then I will go wash it off and come back again okay so apparently this is what my face is supposed to look like kind of terrible at focusing but yeah this is what my face is supposed to look like but but of course it's not going to look like that because I used a sample pack so she like she used maximum amount of product right so no this is what my face looks like it's very uneventful but I feel it it's very cooling I feel it cooling my face but that's pretty much it and I'm going to wash it off and see how my face is looking after it okay so you hey guys I've washed the product off and this is my face after doing so you can see it's pretty shiny it's like it actually does feel soft and I feel it tightening as my face dries it's literally tightening um I don't know it might just be me I feel like my face is brighter I mean the, the mask made my face feel good I ain't gonna lie but apparently when I remove it I'm supposed to use a spatula and like spatula it off well like you know smooth it off or whatever but because there were samples I did not have a spatula so I couldn't just you know like rub it off with a spatula <laughs> so yeah I end up just washing off with water in a rag and yeah I mean if I had the chance I'd use it again I don't I'm not sure if I actually go buy it because it says peel yet you're not peeling anything off of your face and I'm the type of person that likes a face mask that I can peel off is just more satisfying but um for the most part I like the I like the mask you know it's alright but um I hope you guys enjoyed my very random video because I didn't know what to shoot so yeah 
I hope you guys check back in for more of my videos. Hopefully I have some better ideas on what to do on my channel. So yeah, I will see you guys and thank you for watching.